What makes the M1A Scout Squad the premier bug out rifle? I'm Mike with the Hunt Fishery Channel and we're going to be covering what exactly makes this the right choice for you. In order to actually discuss what makes the M1A Scout Squad a perfect bug out rifle, you have to fully understand what a bug out rifle or bug out gun would be. Imagine being in a world where everything that you've come to be accustomed to, all your comforts, is all gone. You can no longer stay at your house, you have to leave due to the situations in the current ongoing climate. You have people raiding homes, you have to get out in the wilderness and actually protect your life or even hunt for food. That, in my opinion, is where this rifle really shines. The M1A in general obviously shoots a 308 round. There are some newer models now shooting the 6.5 Creedmoor, but the 308 round has been around for nearly 70 years or a little over that and it's just an awesome stopping power round when it comes to especially hunting game and as well as for hunting the human predator. What makes it nice though with this rifle in general is that with the 18 inch barrel length it's slightly shorter than let's say a 20 or 22 inch model and therefore with that it's a lighter weight rifle. So if we're talking about hunting if you had to carry this rifle around it's going to be lighter for you and in addition to that it's going to be easier to move through brush if you're hunting in lowlands or something like that, or even if you're hunting in the mountains and you have to actually backpack this gun in on the side of a backpack or something like that, it would be absolutely perfect with that weight and overall length, easy to wield. In addition to that overall length being shorter, if you have to use this as a fighting rifle against a human threat, it's still a very easy rifle to maneuver. In addition to that, they have a nice muzzle brake or compensator on the end there, which helps this rifle shoot a little flatter and also will really help out with that recoil for faster follow-up shots. What you can do then with this rifle is you have a 10 round mag here and then I have another 20 round. So you could have a 20 round capacity of 308. Okay, that is essentially with some of your rounds, say 162 grains, 168 grains, you know, 150 grain, whatever it might be that you're shooting through it, you have a ton of stopping power through this rifle. And at the end of the day, on a human threat, really with 308, a one well-placed shot will stop your threat. With an animal, whatever it might be in those larger game animals, one well-placed shot from a 308 will do the job. However, what I will make note of is that with 308, it does have some limitations as far as for distance. However, I personally have used a slug gun here in the state of Ohio to harvest a large number of deer past 100 yards, and it's not something that's all that hard to do if you're accurate and you take the time to make that shot. You could easily push it past that 200 yard mark while still using the iron sights that this rifle comes equipped with. And with those iron sights and everything else about this rifle, that really brings us down to really the finer points that people don't talk about with this MOA platform. It's a very robust system. Is it the most, let's say, reliable system in the world? Probably not. Is it very reliable? Heck yes. Can it get dirty and still run? Yes, it can. Is it built like a tank? That is truly where this thing shines because of how it's built and how strong of a system it is. You're not going to break it having it beat up and carrying it around a backpack or having it out in the woods, whatever it might be. And this thing will probably outlast the average person if it's taken care of just a little bit. So that's truly with this rifle, when you take the handiness of the Scout Squad model, you take the robust action of the M1A or M14 platform, national match trigger on here, the peep sight that you have here with your iron sights, everything that you need on this rifle to defend yourself, your home, out in the woods hunting animals or whatever it might be, it really lends itself to pull all those duties while at the same time truly giving you everything you might need to survive in a bug out situation. So what I recommend to anybody is shoot it a lot, practice, train, and train accordingly because you never know when that day might come.